So I sold my business last month and man, there is no information out there on how to sell your business. So I'm going to put this out there in case this helps any one of you. So basically when you go to sell a business, you can do it one of two ways. First is you can be the negotiator. You're the one who can do the transaction yourself. You can find a buyer, you can negotiate with them, and then you do the contract, which you probably will need to hire a lawyer unless you have a lawyer. The second way you can go about it is you can hire a business broker like I did. So a business broker is someone who literally buys and sells businesses all the time and they have created their own network of people who are looking to buy and looking to sell businesses. So the benefit of going to a business broker is that you can leverage their community because for you, you might have been busy growing the business. You're not out there necessarily finding buyers and that's a whole thing within itself. So in the beginning, I actually tried going down the first route, which was to negotiate myself. I had a big Australian store come to me, a big household name who came to me and they wanted to purchase the business. And so because they were right there in my face, I was just like, all right, let me go for this. Let me just negotiate. But honestly, I think I just got too emotionally involved in it and it just meant that the negotiation was too challenging for me. So that's why I would rather actually go ahead and pay a business broker. Now, a business broker does take commission from the sale. So for me, I paid my business broker $3,000 upfront and that was just to do the marketing to her network. And then I paid her somewhere between five to 8% commission for my business. The actual percentage really just depends on how big your business is. And I think if your business is below a certain size, so let's say if it's smaller than $100,000, then they'll just take it at a flat rate. Anyways, getting a business broker is the best decision that I made for myself because it meant that I was very hands off the entire sales process, which is exactly what I wanted. I didn't want to get emotionally invested in this. I mean, I was already emotional. The fact that I was actually selling my business to begin with, the fact that I was letting go, that was a whole other thing, which I can talk about if you'd like me to talk about. But yeah, like I loved the fact that I was just handheld through the process. I only needed to get involved to actually answer questions questions with the potential buyers who had questions about my business, um, Lisa study guides, which is tutoring business. So if you're somebody who is looking to sell your business, then I can recommend you my broker. You just let me know, hit me up in the DMs. I'm happy to refer and yeah, let me know if you have any other questions.